Magic. The Gathering. Gather up all this magic, folks. But but today is a special day. Is it? See what's behind me? It's Street Fighter Day. Oh shit. Street Fighter Day. I'm a brick. Uh-huh. She's a brick. No way. He's a brick. Oh way. We're all bricks and y'all welcome to Oh, maybe by all means. Not that I don't want to be a part of the experience. <laughs> because I do. I kind of want to see. Let's open a couple of these card packs before I go up and meet up, meet up <coughs> for the rest of the night. <coughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'm very excited about these Street Fighter card packs. You've already seen the Street Fighter main ones. Let's see if I can show it to the rest okay. of... Babow! All point. Because I'm going to try to do this in 10 minutes anyway. And begin. All right. I think it's cool. On the Street Fighter box, it says, here comes a new challenger. Yeah, right, right. There we go. So here's the Street Fighter cards to begin with. I'll end with the Street Fighter cards, the shiny ones later. We got E-Honda. Ryu World Warrior. I'm really excited for Ryu, honestly. He's got the untapped symbol, untapped motherfucker. Signal, no quarter circle forwards, no quarter circle backs. Blanca, ferocious friend. He's got a really cool effect for being a spell slinger targeting yeah, it's deck. It's kind of broken, to be honest. Oh, Ken, I skipped right over Ken. Uh, I opened this for my friend earlier, so that's why this box is already open. Hadouken is a lightning bolt, alternate lightning bolt. Chun Li, countless kicks. Dalsim, pliable pacifist. Pliable! Pliable pacifist. Pliable, you know, plastic. Kyle, Sonic Soldier, who's kind of, you know, always in the back just like Chun-Li. Sonic, boom. And San Zangief, the Red Cyclone. So, yes, a few missing characters, but it's good. Okay, so here we go. Let's crack these bitches. I'm a little disappointed that everything came with two. Here's the second Street Fighter one, but this one, Showcase Neon <laughs> Dynasty, only came with one. <coughs> See, all it says is thank you for being a part of Secret Lair. But Street Fighter's like, yo, here comes a new challenger. <coughs> here comes a new challenger. Oh, man, that makes me want to play Captain vs. SNK 2. Just a personal aside. <laughs> so we got the Neon Dynasty Inks. Ooh, that's cool. <coughs> I got a Chase Land. I got a Rogue's Passage. It's just a basic. It's just a non-basic land that a uh, not target creature can't be blocked this turn. But it's kind of cool. Four mana. Oof. It's a little steep, but all right, all right. Right, but if it could, it, could be game winning. If you're it just doing it to your commander, it yeah. it could like yeah, as you said, game winning. All right. And then of course in the Kamigawa Neon Ink, everything is like a gold or yellow neon ink. By the way, this disembodied voice coming in from the side of the screen is just a, a magic casual player. Just. Just a casual magic player. I'm, not, I'm no expert. I've been in it for like maybe a couple years. Maybe. Arguably. Debatably. Alright. We got Ghostly Prison. Ooh. Freed from the real. What the fuck? I like yeah, these are called Neon Ink Foils. Beseju, oh who Dennis. shelters oil, all, and God. Hall of the so Bandit dope. Lord. And the reason why I'm disappointed in this is I only get one of these. So like... I don't get a second copy, so I, I can't sell them. I, I want to keep them. Oh my god, that looks so sick. Yeah, I'm going to keep a little bit more on fire, but I'll hand them to you uh, when I get to the next box so you can yeah. check them out yourself. I like all of them. So there, I was hearing oh, some disappointment on the internet. so fucking cool. I was really hearing some disappointment on the internet. People didn't like it. Like, I think it was specifically on the Besaju, but. Yeah, the Besaju is a little dark, but. The yeah, ghosted... okay, fair enough, fair enough on the legendary creature. I get it. Even the Ghosty Prison is but, supposed like, to kind of. this shit. That... That shit looks really fucking cool. Yeah, I really like the Freed from the Real. The Freed from the Real really pops. And the Hall of the Bandit Lord is really good. Yeah. There you go. Check him out. Yeah. And the Rogue's Passage that came with it, if you want, because I'm taking all of them out of the boxes anyway, because the boxes are trash. Although, I'm keeping the Street Fighter boxes because their insides are Street Fighter themed, so I'm Enchanted keeping those. Creature, blue, Enchanted Creature, Untapped Enchanted. Ooh. Ooh. That'll look <laughs> Why do you think I keep buying it, dude? Why do you keep, keep Look, I get it. these I box get it. openings keeps happening? 
as a aspiring game designer, I get it because I look at these keywords and I look at these artifacts and I'm like, oh, there's so much, so much potential in these, in these words. All right, so everything seems to be themed around Japanese artists and Japanese artistry. So little walkers, foil, and non-foil edition. Let's just open both packs at the same time. Maybe that'll help things go faster. Hey, you know what would help opening packs if I had fingernails? You know, it's just a small, just a small slide. Now I can help your voice become a little louder by. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll uh, I'll speak up. Here, well, your neons. It's a setting. It's a setting on the uh, on the microphone. It does like a cart a cardio shape versus a an omnidirectional shape or something like that. I'm sorry. Did you say a cardio? Shape? Read it. It's on the back of the microphone. I ain't bullshitting you. Look, I'm not saying that you're bullshitting me. I rarely believe that you're bullshitting me, but I'm saying, did you say it was a cardio shape? Because I have no idea what a cardio shape looks like. Oh, cardio pattern. It's like a heart, so it makes the, the, the focal point of the microphone. A pattern and a shape are so similar, it's almost like you're, you're saying the same thing. I still don't know what that... What does that mean? <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Little walkers. I, I don't know what it means either. It yeah, looks yeah, like a fair. heart. We, move There's on, a little move heart on. on the back of the microphone. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we, can, so. we, we can move on. Get back to your cards. Oh, I got a horn sliver. What the fuck? Wait, are they putting new inserts in the back? I don't understand what's going on right now. This is cool. Horn sliver. This is old school art. Good old sliver decks. Comes in the back of little walker. That means they juiced up the, the random slot. The random slot in the back used to be totally like... Garbage. Garbage, yeah. But yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> hey, look. I understand how these businesses operate. And how they think. Especially That's a full art horn sliver. Continue. Especially during certain time periods. And, as you know, you got to offset shit by having some, this, like, garbage the, random The cute little sometimes. chibi walkers. We got Tamio the Moon Sage. Oh, there's a fucking adorable. Why? Angie. Why are they so this? fucking cute? Angrath the Flame Chained, Ashiok Dream oh my Render. God. They're so cute. They're like little and guy Soren online avatars. Gr yeah, right. Like what? These are so Soren Grim Nemesis. Oh my God, that's so adorable. They're cute as hell. I don't think I'm making my ten minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Twenty minutes it is. Thank you for being a part of Secret Lair. Lion. Where did the other it's box go? Liar. Oh, Not I already... Alright, whatever. I already opened it. So let's just put it back in the box. You'd think I'd learn to be faster at this, but no, I just I just get slowed down at box opening. You'll get faster. There's also... I counted it. There's five pieces to these stupid boxes for like five to nine cards. <laughs> you know how irritating that is? I do not. <coughs> because I don't oh, hey, this one's a two-headed sliver. Okay, so maybe they changed it up for this drop because that's obviously different. But it's the same pack. One's just foil and non-foil. You know what I mean? Mm. Yep, same cards. Super adorable. Non-foil. Everyone has their uh, preferences on... Whether or not like they like foil or non-foil more. Do I feel like I'm missing one? Oh no, there's only five. Okay. I thought I had more. I thought there were six planeswalkers, but it's just the the bonus cards. One more day. Yeah, gonna celebrate. Oh, so that's what happened to my box. I put the two big boxes together. So I fucked up. You have the game and watch going as a timer. Yeah. You trying to do all these in ten minutes? I'm trying to get myself down to ten minutes per opening. Yeah. Ambitious. I like it. I like it. Right now I'm at a last. Not ambitious in the sense of unrealistic, but just ambitious. Last open. Well, I started these openings. You were actually with me with the the collectors boxes at like basically two hours, and then when I did my last opening for this secret layer in particular, it was uh, thirty minutes in total. Ten. I did three. Nice. Ten sec three That's ten minute a sections. Hell of a jump from two yeah. hours to thirty minutes. Jesus. Now secret layers are different than the collector's boxes. Yeah, fair. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Idealic tutor. Alright, secret card is another horn sliver. Okay. So they did change the slot. But I did get a rogues passage. We were getting artifacts, now we're getting lands and full art slivers. 
But both sliver, all three slivers I got are common. So it's not like I got a rare sliver. This package does not want to work with me. There we go. For the angle that you're at right now. Oh, my bad. Well, if you back up a little bit from the camera, it would be. There you go. Yeah, I was trying to be a little bit ambitious. Another Swords to Plowshares. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. I was thinking Path to Exile. This is different. Swords to Plowshares is good. Solve the equation. Crater's Swords Grass. Swords to Plowshares? That's a biblical verse. What the fuck? And these are all supposed to be like Japanese art inspired cards. Idyllic Tutor. It's pretty dope. Solve the equation. Switch your library for an instant or sorcery card. Put it into your hand and shuffle. Oh, hey. I can put that in uh, my Reaper King deck for kill now. Veil of Summer. Oh, my God. That's Tamio in the background. Crater's Grasp. Target player. Oh, well. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reset timer, bitch. You gonna go visit Hope now? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for the contextual flavor of the day. <laughs> yeah, I may be back. I may not. It's a uh, It's fifty fifty. Is it like an open invitation? No. But it's fifty fifty. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. I have a lady friend I'm missing to entertain. Always entertain your lady friends. Have a good one. Yeah. Keep it magical. <laughs> Thanks. Ugh. Look. You get duplicates all over the place. Just common slivers. Two-headed slivers. Horn slivers. Now I'm a little disappointed in the overall magic of the of the set. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more concise with my putting away here. Cause I don't want to deal with all this plastic. I'll uh, throw away each of the bonus plastics on their own. All right, I do got I do like two. See, I get two of every one except the except the Kamigawa neon ink foil. That's a little disappointing that that one doesn't come in foil and non foil, especially when it comes with a bundle bundle. So I'm gonna have to remind myself to get like extras of those ones when they don't come. Oh, this is the first time I prefer the foil to the non foil, and my non foils are a little bit off cut. Oh no. Yeah, all my non-foils are tad off-cut and off-center compared to the, the right side over here. I never understand if people prefer miscut cards or prefer fully cut, well, uh, well-centered cards. I have, I have a friend group. I have a friend group that really likes miscut cards. And uh, they like miscut cards so much they go out of their way to seek miscut cards. This one's pictures of the floating world. So this one's the lands, the hideaway lands. Oh my god, those are Japanesely gorgeous. Also, I found out due to my last, my last video on secret layers that traditional foil here just means uh, uh, this. Traditional foil just means this. I was all excited thinking it was like the shooting star old school foil. But that only comes in the, um, those old school ass, uh, shoot it, those old school esque, ass, ask, take your pick. I don't care. Ask, as those old school, um, style shooting star foils only come in the, uh, foil etched, uh, old bordered. Oh yeah. Another horn sliver. So it's not very special when you end up. <clears throat> See, I always get excited with the first uh, openings. And the next opening, show me. 
I have three horn slivers that all have trample and two two-headed slivers. So about as useful as the basic lands that you get. Is it cool that I got a rogue's passage? Of course that it's cool that I got a rogue's passage. That's the highlight of the bonus cards that I've gotten so far. <clears throat> and in fact, because I have a rogue's passage, I believe I'm just going to put it directly into... Um, Nice, they are the hideaway lands. Every single one of them. That's dope. These are super cool. So they're just like the Japanese alternate inserts into Strixhaven. The Japanese specials, right? So let's see if I can name them off. Shell, Shell Dog Isle, Windbrisk Heights. I never knew the black one. Uh, Spinarak Knoll, and Mosswort Bridge. What was the black one? I don't remember what the black one did. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> oh, got, I missed the box. of the floating world foil. Another horn sliver. So now I have four horn slivers and two two-headed slivers. Not even three and three. Four and two. Thanks, Magic, for randomly giving me commons in my bonus special package that I paid extra money to wait four months for me to get just an extra common card. Thanks! I'll let y'all be the turn factor if that's sarcasm or genuine. From my heart, it's a little bit half and half. Ooh. I think I like the foils more. I don't know if it's coming out on camera very as well as it is in person. The camera lighting I have right now is not the best. I'm going to try to bend down. If for some reason the camera is not showcasing him, what I see in person is uh, way more pretty in person. I really dig the foils. I'll probably sell the non-foils. Keep the foils like I've been doing. It's been my tradition because, you know, traditional foils, you know. Keeping with the tradition of keeping them. Putting it in boxes backwards. Only gotten three minutes left. And I got so many boxes left. So many boxes left. It's because I keep trying to put them away. If I would just throw the packaging away and deal with them later. But like, I'm too much of a neat freak. I just throw everything. Shades not included. Ah, I honestly, this is the part of the set that I wish I could have got more of. I'm really, these, I think these turned out really cool. I heard something about these were used, used as proxies originally, but then as time went on, uh, someone made them official. Hey, look, there's a wing sliver. So it's a lot of common old school slivers, okay? A lot. I don't know why they're trying to push slivers so much. Damn, that planes is dope. Like, what in the hell? I don't think I'm going to make it, guys. Plains, island, swamp. 
Oh no, tilting. The world is tilting. Okay, this is why I'm a neat freak, because now I'm just losing cards. Look, see? I even forgot one box. Brought to you by your friendly neighborhood neat freak. You know what's fun? I, I really don't recommend anyone doing this. Um, they're just cardboard, but... uh. If you throw them in the fire, they make a really roaring, roaring fire. It's, it's real fun, you know. Just, just toss a box in the fireplace and watch it burn. Hey, look, another wing sliver. I can almost build a whole legacy sliver deck. Not that legacy sliver decks play like that anymore, but you know, it's cool, I suppose, that we're getting slivers in boxes that I don't know that these drops are now turning into giving slivers out to people. It's kind of bizarre. And of course, wow, these foils are actually pretty good. I can tell just before I open them. Compared to most of the foils that we get from Secret Layers. Oh man, going for 30 minutes. box is gone. I want to take Yeah, look at those. Those are super dope. Oh, there's a fucking print line on one of them. Shooting star on that one. All right, with this doing its thing, I'm gonna take a moment to BRB. And editor, cut in. I need to pee. Alright. These basic lands are dope. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I wish I got more of these. But I am happy with the ones I have currently. We'll see. Uh, if anyone else wants them as a home. Alright, 10 more minutes to go. If I can't finish this in 10 more minutes, I'm a failure. Why am I a failure? Because I was supposed to do it in 20 minutes, and we're already at 24. T trying to train myself. Okay, so this one is Kaito Shizuki. Let's make this simple to put back together. Like the Japanese would do. Hi. Oh look! Five horn slivers. I, I don't even care anymore. What am I going to do with a bunch of slivers I can't resell? Like, it's almost a slap in the face 
that I'm getting all these common slivers. Like, are you get? Does that mean eventually you're gonna give me a crystalline sliver? Does that mean? Does that mean eventually, like sliver sliver queen can't be reprinted? So does that mean you're gonna give me a muscle sliver? Are you gonna give me a sinew sliver? Are you gonna give me any of those? All right, so we got brain freeze. Can you see that? Bribery. I haven't seen bribery as a card in forever. Snap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Snap. Snap. Unmask. These are all really cool Demir cards. Exile. You may exile a black card from your hand rather than play this spell's mana cost. Target player reveals that hand. You may choose a non land card from it. That player discards a card. So it's. It's grief, but it's on a sorcery. And Shadow of Doubt. I don't know if this, this particular set's any good, but. I like the art. Art doesn't really come up on my camera for some reason. Maybe the non-foil will show it. Here, we'll make it a thing that I'll just like put them out here before I put them in the pile. Is it like a panorama? That'd be dope if it was a panorama. It's all manga art. Like, it kind of looks like it's from a magic anime. Didn't magic have, like, a promotional magic anime for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty? Because I would watch the shit out of that. If they made that an actual anime, I would watch the absolute shit out of that. Like, are you kidding me? Like, let's lose this time now. Kamigawa is the most requested magic plane I've I've wanted Wizards of the Coast to return to ever. Please be something else other than... Oh, look. Finally. It's an uncommon sliver. Ward sliver. Watch. That's the only uncommon sliver I'm going to get out of this whole spiel. And I only got two left because Street Fighter comes with Hadouken. Like, back to the, the, the whole Kamigawa thing. Like, if Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, I know there's a promotional video out there. And maybe when I eventually edit this together, I'll try to show clips and snippets of that promotional video as I'm talking about it. If Magic, Wizards of the Coast, would just produce, would just go and fully on produce that anime. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it in non-foil a lot better. Rain Freeze, Bribery, Get Down, Get Down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Snap! Unmask. And Shadow of Doubt. Also miscut. Like, really heavy miscut. On all the non... All the non-foils are heavily miscut at the top there. The bottom is shorter. And so if Kamigawa with the anime, and they just made and produced a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty anime, it'd be like a 15-year dream come true for me, because I've been asking and requesting for Magic to go back to the Kamigawa setting, and making it Kamigawa Cyberpunk at the same time. I love Cyberpunk shit! And Cyberpunk where we're doing moon hacking, and all this other crazy, uh, like, turning each other into robots, and, and, and communing with the planeswalkers, and potentially guarding from, from Phyraxians and the Magic Invasion, and... And just, just look at this beautiful ass art. Like, oh my god, if that was an anime, the, the amount of dedication I would give to that anime is off the charts, man. Just straight up off the charts. And now we have last, Yuko Shimizu. It's weird on the miscuts, because I feel like the, 
the type facing is like less, but no, it's just, yeah, it's just totally miscut. It's just, there's supposed to be a lot more black at the bottom than there actually is. Thank you for being a part of Secret Lair. Well, when you just... Why did you change it to Slivers? That's what we're getting now is Slivers? Oh, sh shit. I might have saved the best for last. And we get another Rogue's Passage. Two lands. Does that mean there's rare utility lands like Ancient Tomb and, and Phyraxian Altar or Phyraxian Tomb in that slot? Cause I'm getting a lot of commons, yo. Commons and uncommons. Oh my god. These are gorgeous. Oh dear, this is the set. Elvish Spirit Guide. IDN of Great Revel. Here, a great glass spinner. Damn, that shit's gorgeous. And her Cory Dusk Drinker. Along with my Rogue's Passage. It turned out to be a land instead of a sliver. There's only four. Ha! Ah, her is 420, baby. Good old number 420. Her Cory Dusk Drinker. What up? Four twenty-three is Elvish Spirit Guide, Idealon of Great Revel, Kira Great Grass Splinter. Damn, this shit is dope. And another Ward Sliver. I got more uncommon slivers, man. And glue that doesn't want to get undone from being glue. Well, I hope anyone watching enjoyed. What Magic is trying to do with Secret Lairs. Secret Lairs still have a random factor to them, so they're still magic. That's the takeaway I take away from Secret Lairs. And since that's the takeaway I take away from Secret Lairs, I really wish there was just more transparency with the Secret Lairs. And which ones are random and which ones are fixed, and on top of which ones are random, which ones come with different things sorry, had a little mishap happen there that I need to fix and take care of. Because that's not good. Not good at all. Smudges and stuff on the mat. Making things worse on the cards. Because. I don't understand now. Why I have. While I was sitting here hoping to open. More artifacts. I get. Non-basic, uncommon utility lands. One, two, three, four, five horn slivers that useless. Two two-headed slivers, not as useless. Two wing slivers, not as useless. And two ward slivers, also not as useless. Let's put these more in the light. Wing slivers. And they're the foils that come as the bonus that come in the boxes. Yet... Here, Secret Lair X Street Fighter. Here comes a new challenger. This cool new packaging to take care of the fact that you get a nice, compared to either extra cardboard cutout or gold, you get a nice red and gold packaging. They went more all out, and you for sure get Hydukin as a secret card. So what is the difference 
as my final rant of the video between when you know you're going to get the bonus card being the same every single time versus when the bonus card God, I hate this glue. As I'm pulling this apart, I absolutely hate this glue. This glue that they choose to use is so sticky. It's almost as sticky as the shit that I'm sitting here panicking and worrying is getting on my cards just by sitting here on the freaking table. That's how sticky th this fucking glue is. Fucking annoying as shit. That's what it is. All right. And just to check one last time. Oh, there's a lot of things on the table. Let's clean this up a little bit. Like a lot of people hated Secret Lairs when they were the Walking Dead and Exclusive and, and Stranger Things. And, and now I'm at the same level as them. I don't hate it. I get Street Fighter cards, E Honda, Ryu, Ken, Blanca, Chun Li, Dalsum, Guile. And Zangief, along with Hadouken. Seems a bit strange to me that we get eight brand new cards with brand new effects and everything. As part of the random slot behind them, you get random new slots compared to what we've been getting in the past. And we used to have some semblance of an idea of what we were getting, and let's see if I read the collector's number. Yeah, we're at 649, 646. So they just keep adding numbers to the secret layer drops. That's why there's no slash at the end of the collector's numbers because they can just keep adding numbers to the end of the secret layer random slot. I thought it was jumpstart lands and what I call schematic artifacts, and now it turns out to be slivers? Just slivers. Slivers and schematic lands. Like map lands. Lands that, that seem to look like they come from Ixalan here. With uh, little maps in the corner and whatnot. I don't know if that, I can get the map to come up in the corner at all. And they're all foil. This one's foiling is a little bit dull. This one's foiling is a little bit better for some reason. It's a little bit more foily in this, in this version. But I would just like a little bit more transparency from Wizards of the Coast because it's just really strange the decisions they're making. That's it. They're making a lot of weird decisions. They're making a lot of good decisions. They're making a lot of bad decisions. They're like making a lot of mixed decisions, which end up meaning that Wizards of the Coast is making a lot of weird decisions. So... Everyone enjoy magic how you want to enjoy magic. I'm going to go make some amazing commander decks with Ryu, Ken, maybe in the same deck, Guile, Zangief. Throw them in commander decks all left and right. Maybe sell some rogues passages. Maybe put them in decks that already contain them. But I'm going to go have more fun with magic because at the end of the day, it's just a game. And we're all here to have fun.